Hi, I am Professor William Corder, and I'm the instructor for this Geography 102, Cultural Geography number 13433 for this fall 2022 semester. I'm going to walk you through how to get onto the course and some things about the course. At the same time, um, I realize that many of you have already done Canvas courses, so you know what to do, but it doesn't hurt to watch this video. It's not going to cost you anything, and you know, at least then you have some idea of what's happening with this specific class. Canvas suggests using Chrome or Firefox rather than Safari. I'm an owner of Apple products. Nevertheless, I use Chrome to get onto the Canvas course shells. Also, they suggest that you clear your cache to ensure fluidity in the functioning of your system. YouTube has all kinds of videos on how to do that, and they're easy to follow. In case you've never done it before, you might want to do it. It'll help your computer out. I'm going to tell you something before I start. I work out at the YMCA. Now, I'm 59 years old, whatever that means for somebody who's 59 working out. But I sometimes work out with a guy named Gabriel. Gabe is what he goes by. And he's a Vietnam veteran. And when he found out what I do for a living, which is that I'm a geography professor at Santa Ana College, he said to me he never realized how important geography was until he was at war in Vietnam. Because, of course, it is. You have to use latitude and longitude to call in reinforcements or to bring in fire. I know it's a war, so it's not pleasant to talk about. You have to understand the environment and the landscape and all these things are all reading maps. It's all very important stuff. It's all tied to geography. I'm telling you this because geography is a very important discipline. It's cross-disciplinary in a lot of ways. It goes from one place to another throughout um you know, various disciplines and things that can happen in your own life. So it's kind of a really, really important discipline. I'm not saying this just because I teach it, but this is one of the things that brought me to it myself because I realized that it has kind of a lot of um, application. So here's what you do. You type in sac.edu, so sac.edu, just like that, and either this page or a similar page is going to show up. You then click on Canvas right there, and it's going to bring you to this login to Canvas yellow banner. You click on that enter your information and what's going to happen is your canvas dashboard is going to show up this of course is my dashboard not yours nevertheless it's going to look similar to this one and you find your class in this case it's geography 102 cultural geography number 13433 you click on this and the class will open up and you will now see your cultural geography homepage that's what this is called it says start here good place to start so if you click on this I would read through this little bit of material right here and uh, see what it has to say. Let's click over here on homepage again. And you can see down here it says, Welcome to Culture Geography 102. Yes, this is similar to start here above. So the college builds in a bunch of redundancies into these course shells. I could take them out, but I leave them in because the college leaves likes them in. So they're there. So you don't have to go through the Welcome to Culture Geography. It's basically the same thing as start here. Let's take a look at the syllabus since you are going to have a quiz on the syllabus in module one of this class. So when you click on that banner on the left-hand side, the syllabus is going to open up. And you can click on this document right here and print a copy of the syllabus if you're inclined to do that. And then the syllabus, at least theoretically, is going to open up for you. Open up for you. Is this gonna happen? Open up. Well, it should do that at some point when the circle of death stops circling. Okay, so here we go. We've got it. And you can see that this is the Santa Ana College mission statement, the Rancho Santiago Community College District mission statement. You see, here's your class right here, fall 2022 online in section 13433. Disclaimer, the instructor, the instructor, which is me, reserves the right to modify this syllabus course overview if needed. Your adjustment and flexibility are appreciated. Of course, I mean, we're coming out of a pandemic, so you all know that anything can happen. Um, you can see this is my office number, D203. I'm not going to be in it very frequently, but if we have to meet, we can meet there. Or we can meet by clicking on big blue button here, and we can set up a virtual meeting as well. This is my email address, quarter underscore bill at sac.edu, or you can message me through Canvas. Here's my phone number, 714-564-6576. It's my office phone number. I'm not going to be in my office very often, but nevertheless, there it is. When you uh, message me or email me, please give me 48 hours to respond. Usually I'm quicker than that, but just in case. Here's the course name, description, format, uh, the textbook. The textbook is free. It doesn't cost you anything, but you do get what you pay for. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about that. And there's also some videos on that in module one of this class. 
Course placement and transferability. So this is what it does for you. DSPS statement. If you're a DSPS student, please get that information to me as quickly as possible so I can set up your accommodations. Student learning outcomes, course objectives, course goals. Remember, there's a quiz on this in module one. So make sure that you read through it. Course topics. Notice there's three sections in this class, and these are the topics. Each one of these sections will end with a full blown exam. Reading. These are the chapters that you're going to be quizzed on from the free textbook. Attendance, because this is an entirely online class, I'm going to take attendance based on whether you complete the assignments or not. In module one, it's critically important that you get the stuff from module one done in a timely manner because if you do not complete it by the end of the first week, I'm required by the state of California to drop you as a no-show. So please make sure you take care of that. Course grading, probably the most important thing, right? Your grade is based on three 100-point multiple choice exams. 10 chapter reading quizzes that have varying amounts of points in them, eight discussion board participation exercises that are worth 15 points each. These are pretty easy. All you have to do is answer the discussion board prompt and then respond to one person. You're going to get the points provided you do everything that you're supposed to do. I just want you to know this about the discussion board topics. They're meant to represent topics that might arise organically in a face-to-face -face or live class, like if we were in an actual classroom. They have some relation to geographic topics, but they might be kind of distantly related. Nevertheless, these are the types of topics that come up in college classrooms and then elicit discussion. You know, I mean, it's a place of higher education and an open marketplace of ideas. So that's the way we're going to roll. They may not be directly tied to geography, but only tangentially related to geography. But nevertheless, geography is a pretty broad discipline. Then notice the grading scale is a straight scale. Um, no exams will be dropped. The syllabus codes will not be dropped. No chapter reading quizzes will be dropped. No discussion boards will be dropped. No other grade assignment will be dropped. A zero will be assigned for all exams, quizzes, and discussion boards, et cetera, that are not taken. And there are no makeups, retakes, or redos on any graded assignment, quiz, or exam. So please get everything done in a timely manner. This is the schedule right here. You can see week one, module one, section one, and the dates, and then what we do in that one, in that particular module in that week, week two, module two, section one, and then the dates, and so on. So this is for the entire 14 weeks of the semester. Then you can see Canvas course site and then technical support. Canvas is available to you, as in their technicians are available to you 24-7 at 844-612-7428. They are really helpful. Don't have any fear contacting them, and it's free. So go ahead and do it. Don't be afraid. Required technology. Obviously, you need to have good internet connection and a computer to be able to do this. If you do this class on your phone and you have sloppy internet connection, I cannot help you with that, and your grade will probably suffer. So make sure that you have really, really good stuff that you can use this correctly. By the way, the college allows you to borrow computers from them and use their computer lab and use their internet and everything else. Academic honesty and code, student code of conduct, read that. Assignments in Canvas, important dates. Notice the final exam will be open for you from 12 a.m. on Sunday, December 4th through 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, December 10th. After that moment, the class ends and everything's over and the grades uh, then migrate to the school. Miscellaneous, please read that. Title IX, read that. Okay. Then down below that, continue down, we have the suggestions for successful completion of geography. Now, there are these 12 bullet points on here. These are also being quizzed on that same syllabus quiz in Module 1. Course description, required materials, which is the free book. There I am at the Taj Mahal. Some information about me. It's the same stuff you saw before. Email. Please read this thing about how to email me before you send me an email. But always in your emails, put Geography 102 and 13433 in the subject bar. I have seven classes with hundreds of students. No offense, but it's going to be very difficult for me to sort you out if you don't have that on there. And then instructor bio, something about me, student learning outcomes, and so on. Okay? Now, if we come over here to home, once again, it brings us back to the home page. You can reach the modules by clicking on any one of these buttons. I always go over here on the left-hand side. This is where you get your grades, by the way. And if you click on modules, this is mine. It looks a little different from yours, but it's similar. Course information module. So welcome to Culture Geography 102. Please open that up and read it. Accessible course syllabus. Well, I told you the school builds in redundancy, so you already saw the syllabus. Instructor contact, communication plan, course policies. Please read through all of that stuff. It's really important, those first few things. Then we come down here and we reach module one. So this is where the class actual, actually starts. So I mentioned the textbook. If you click on here, the textbook versus the professor and some other things, it does explain about the textbook and how to get onto the textbook. Then you can see um, module one introduction. Now notice this. Everything that's graded in my modules, our modules, is indented one space. 
Okay, these are the lectures right here. They're right up against this, this left-hand margin. But each one of these, the discussion board, the syllabus quiz, and then the chapter one reading quiz, these are all indented one space, okay? And that's gonna be the same way if you look at module two, we have discussion board right here, it's indented one space. Module three, you have a chapter reading quiz, again, chapter five in that case, okay? So that's what's going to happen. And then I guess you might as well scroll down and see module four, and then the first exam is in module five. So that exam in module five is based on the material you're going to get out of modules one, two, three, and four. So let's take a look at the introduction, module one introduction. I would, if I was you, every time just read through this blurb right here and then watch the video that explains something about what's going to happen and what we're doing. Let me backspace right over here. And you can see the textbook versus the professor discussion board. Okay, so the first discussion board is lessons about the pandemic or from the pandemic. Read all this stuff right here. And then you come down here when you're going to reply. If you've never done a discussion board, you click on reply. You type in your response, blah, 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 right? And then down here, you post reply and what will happen is your reply will show up you'll be able to see yours and everybody else else's i'm going to cancel out of this just make sure that you read through it i think this is a good way to start because we've all gone through the pandemic together right so we all have something to say about it we all have an experience with it and it's something that we have communally together so it's a good way to kind of break the ice then you can see uh syllabus and su su suggestions sorry it's hard to say <laughs> suggestions for successful completion of geography anytime you have a quiz make sure you read the instructions before you do it you can see down here it's going to be open from september 4th at 6 p.m through september 10th at 11 59 p.m all right so make sure that you read the syllabus go through it and then take this quiz backspace one more time well maybe multiple times then you see chapter one uh thinking geographically and chapter two geographic tools and methods so this is from the textbook all right so these are the things out of those two chapters that you need to get, the concepts and the, ter the terminology. So when you read the textbook, those two chapters, that's what you need to get out of the chapter in order to be quizzed, which you can see right here is chapter one uh, quiz and chapter two quiz. So they're combined, all right? Make sure you read through this. Uh, you will see, and if you go look at the how to get onto the textbook under the textbook versus professor, uh, you see that when you click on this, this brings you onto the textbook. You click on read the book, Right there, I'll just go through this really quickly for you. Contents, and then the X, and then it opens up every one of the chapters. Okay, very good. Let me come back over here. Backspace again. And now you can see that it says Cultural Geography, Section 1, Module 1, Terms and Concepts. So from Module 1, this is the material you need to get. That's the terminology and the concepts. Where do you get that from? Well, we can click right here on Next, down at the bottom right, and that will bring you to the first lecture. There you go. That's where it starts. And then next again, brings you to the next one. Okay, there I am at my friend's house in Prague. And you can see right here, this is the third one and so on. Okay, that's what you do. You're gonna get this information, the terminology concept from those lectures that I have created for you. And every one of the modules, except for the modules with exams, works the same way. So module two goes the same way. Here's the culture geography, section one, module two, terms and concepts. And then where do you get that? You get that information from these lectures, module three, Right here, there's the terminology and so on, okay? All right, so check this out. For five points on your first exam, okay? So the first time you take an exam, the section one exam, email me or message me through Canvas with the name of the guy from the YMCA that I spoke about regarding geography at the beginning of this video. Put the name of the class, Geography 102 13 433, and his name in the subject bar and then your name in the body of the email and get that to me by 11 59 p.m on thursday september 8th and i will give you five extra credit points on your first exam see it pays to pay attention and to go through the material all right thanks for listening and thanks for watching